What if the universe ends much sooner than we thought? Not in trillions of trillions of years, but on a much shorter clock. A new study from Radboud University reveals that not just black holes, but all dense cosmic objects, like neutron stars and white dwarfs, may eventually evaporate through a Hawking-like radiation process. That means even the most stable remnants of dead stars are slowly disappearing over time. This challenges long-held beliefs about the universe's lifespan. According to the new calculations, everything could fade away in about 10 to the power of 78 years, compared to the previously accepted 10 to the power of 1,100 years. It's still an unimaginable stretch of time, but it's dramatically shorter in cosmic terms. This new model blends astrophysics, quantum mechanics, and advanced mathematics to present a radically different vision of how the universe winds down. In this episode, we'll explain how this process works, what it means for the future of everything in the cosmos, and why it may reshape how we understand the ultimate fate of the universe. Stephen Hawking once proposed that black holes slowly leak radiation due to quantum effects near their event horizons. This emission, now known as Hawking radiation, meant that even black holes wouldn't last forever. Until now, that idea was largely limited to these extreme objects. But researchers at Red Bud University, astrophysicist Heino Falke, quantum physicist Michael Wondrak, and mathematician Walter von Swilakom have expanded the concept. Their study suggests that other dense objects, including neutron stars and white dwarfs, might also emit similar radiation and gradually evaporate over time. Unlike black holes, these objects don't have event horizons. However, their intense space-time curvature is enough to trigger the formation of virtual particle pairs, similar to those in Hawking's original theory. The result is a slow loss of mass, a kind of quantum evaporation affecting all compact stellar remnants. To understand the scale of this process, the team ran calculations on various types of objects. Neutron stars and stellar mass black holes would both vanish over approximately 10 to the power of 67 years. White dwarfs would take longer, about 10 to the power of 78 years, to fully evaporate. For reference, they even calculated how long the moon or a human would take to disappear via this process, around 10 to the power of 90 years. The key variable here isn't just gravity, it's density. Surprisingly, black holes evaporate at roughly the same rate as neutron stars, because black holes reabsorb some of their emitted particles. Neutron stars, which have surfaces, allow those particles to escape freely, balancing the rate of decay. This new framework doesn't rely on event horizons, but rather on the curved space-time around compact objects. It paints a more inclusive picture of how quantum effects act on cosmic structures and suggests that Hawking-like radiation could be a universal mechanism, not just a black hole anomaly. Now, after this many things we thought would last indefinitely might actually be on a very slow countdown to nothingness. For decades, physicists believed that neutron stars and white dwarves would outlast nearly everything else. Once stars exhausted their fuel, these compact remnants were expected to drift through space indefinitely. Only black holes were thought to slowly evaporate, taking more than 10 to the power of 100 years to vanish. This new model reframes the role of quantum mechanics in shaping the large-scale universe. This isn't just a tiny subatomic effect. It has macro consequences. Even the most massive structures in space are governed by quantum rules when viewed on these vast timescales. The most important insight from this study is that density is the deciding factor in an object's evaporation rate. This alone changes the traditional hierarchy of cosmic longevity. Black holes no longer sit at the end of the timeline by default. Neutron stars and white dwarfs, objects long believed to be eternal relics, now have an expiration date as well. In addition, the comparison between black holes and neutron stars is particularly revealing. Despite black holes having stronger gravity, their lack of a physical surface means some of their emitted radiation loops back into them. 
neutron stars, by contrast, radiate more cleanly, leading to similar evaporation times. It's an elegant reminder that intensity alone doesn't always mean faster decay. From a theoretical standpoint, this study strengthens the bridge between quantum mechanics and general relativity, two pillars of physics that rarely interact cleanly. By showing how quantum particle production arises from curved space-time, even outside of black holes, it opens new paths for developing a unified theory of quantum gravity. This gives us a more coherent picture of how all matter is ultimately temporary, even the parts we once thought were stable forever. This research doesn't just change our expectations, it sets the stage for a whole new line of investigation in theoretical physics and cosmology. One immediate takeaway is that physicists may need to update our models for the far future of the universe. Previously, the final cosmic stages were thought to involve degenerate remnants, neutron stars and white dwarfs, quietly persisting until the end of time. Now, we know they'll disappear too, just on a slightly longer timescale than black holes. This affects how we define the degenerate era of the universe, one of the final phases of cosmic evolution. That era may not stretch endlessly into the future, but could wrap up around 10 to the power of 78 years when the last white dwarfs finally evaporate. After that, all that would remain is diffuse radiation and elementary particles slowly dispersing into a nearly empty void. The study also invites more practical questions. While these processes happen far too slowly to observe directly, scientists may begin searching for indirect evidence of mass loss in compact stars. Advanced measurements might someday detect tiny discrepancies in the behavior of neutron stars that hint at slow evaporation, helping to validate this model. And then there's the matter of theory. This research encourages further exploration of quantum field behavior in strong gravitational environments, especially those that don't involve horizons. The discovery that space-time curvature alone can create these radiation effects could reshape how physicists think about mass, energy, and the vacuum. This is especially valuable for efforts to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity. Any framework that helps explain the universe across both scales is worth investigating, and this one could be a solid step in that direction. Beyond science, there's also something deeply human about these findings. When the researchers calculated that even a person could theoretically evaporate over 10 to the power of 90 years, it wasn't meant as a prediction, but as a reminder. The laws of the universe apply to everything, no exceptions. It's a humbling but fascinating thought. Nothing is permanent, not even the densest stars or the grandest galaxies. We're all part of a universe that's slowly winding down, not with explosions or sudden collapses, but through quiet, steady loss. And in understanding that, we gain more than facts, we gain perspective. Perspective about where we are, what we're made of, and how everything, even time itself, keeps moving forward. It's a quiet ending, built not on explosions, but on subtle quantum processes happening over unimaginable spans of time. And yet, it reshapes how we think about everything, from the universe's death to the nature of matter itself. The clock is ticking, just very, very slowly. See you next time. Thank you.